Welcome back, detectives. For today's reading lesson, you will be completing this chart that you see here on the second page of your reading homework. This is the kind of work that we practiced last week doing with our co-detective or our reading partner. And you're just going to practice these steps and answering these questions on your own to help you become a better reading detective and a better reading detective partner so that way you can practice asking these questions the next time you are working with your reading partner. So what you're going to do is you are going to read your mystery book for 25 minutes. If you need, right in your digital mystery notebook, you have the link to the digital mystery reading library, like you see here, as well as a link to a 25 minute timer to help you. Remember, you must read a mystery book for these assignments because we are asking you questions that relate specifically to mystery books. So make sure it is a mystery book you are reading. As you're reading, if you wanna take some jots to help you answer these questions, you can. The first question you're going to answer is, what is happening so far? You're going to give a summary of the most recent event or the most recent two events that happened in your book. Remember, full complete sentences, capital letters and punctuation. It says it in your lesson um, instructions as well. So make sure you remember that, detectives. So quick summary of the most recent events. And then what are we learning about the characters? Maybe you're learning that one character actually wasn't guilty of committing the crime anymore. Or maybe you're learning that you have a new suspect. Or maybe you're learning that two of the characters are working together. Or that one of the characters' motives has appeared. There's going to be new information that you're learning about your characters or new theories that you're forming about your characters. Fill that in here. This next one, what are some new clues that you're finding? What's a clue that you got during the chapters that you read or during the 25 minutes that you read today? What might they mean? Did you suddenly see some footsteps and it might mean that it was a girl who committed the crime because the shoe versus the boy? Are you learning that someone's motive checked out and they didn't, they couldn't have done it? What are those clues and what might they mean? And then the last one, make a prediction. What do you think might happen next? Remember, even if you finish your book during the reading time today, you can always guess what might happen next. Imagine what would happen if the author had chosen to write another chapter after this, or if there was another book after this. You can always predict, even if you finish your book, you can always predict and guess what might happen next. So remember, you have to answer all four parts of this chart with full complete sentences, capital letters and punctuation, just like I'm highlighting right here on the screen to make sure these are your best third grade quality responses. All right, detectives, let's not wait any longer. Get clicking on that digital mystery library. Hop back into your mystery reading book. Set that timer for 25 minutes and off you go.